Hello guys and oh god, my voice. Hello guys and welcome to another vlog with me, FN Lou. I've literally just left the dentist after having another filling put in because it fell out and I ended up, ended up having threes to replace this one. So I'm sorry about my voice at the minute. It friggin' caned. Anyway, I thought we'd be my day off. Got a little, a little bit of spare time on my hands. And at the moment, not re not really having any money for, for putting more mods on the car, doing those kind of videos at the moment. So I thought the thing is, I don't really have any proper, really good photos of the car with the new wing on. Other than one photo that, that, I, that I do have that I took really quickly. So I thought I'd find a nice location, which we kind of do have. I bring the camera down, we take some shots, and I can give you some pointers on how to take decent car photos. Now, I'm not a professional. I don't have a qualification in photography. I'm literally just interested in it as a hobby. Uh, everything I do with it is literally through research that I've done myself. That is it, and from learning from other people. So, whilst I get some photos, let's try and go through some top tips on how to get a good car photo. It is quite loud because there's traffic going past, but I will try to explain what I'm gonna do. Tip number one is height. Try to make sure that you are quite low down if you wanna take an aggressive shot of your car it can give the car look like it's got a bit of a better stance and it makes the car look a lot more aggressive and flat rather than above and rounded so I'll give you an example so this will be a shot that I'm going to take from stood at normal height this will be the same shot with the same well I have it oh, I'm gonna have it on auto for this so the camera will be sorting itself out the same shot with the same amount of focus at the same distance from the car but just at a lower angle so this is what the difference will be the second thing that i recommend is using zoom on your lens now if you're really close to the car and you can zoom completely out the lens will give you more of a rounded effect with the car whereas if you're further away and you zoom in uh, with the lens or if you've got like a digital camera using zoom obviously they might be a bit more pixelation so don't do it too much but it flattens the image more it brings the background closer to the car and it just it's, it's all to do with that stance and aggression and it makes the car look a lot more edgy rather than bubbly i think so i'll show you an example this is one where i will take it close up and zoomed out this will be the one stood a few meters away from there uh, but zoomed in next up what we've got is lighting now I'm a big fan of natural light, especially on sunny days like this. I think it really makes all the colors pop, but you can get different effects as well. Even from having it like an artificial light, like in car parks, it really it bounces off the car a lot differently, which I still think looks really, really cool. As well as talking about lighting, look taking the pictures from different angles, like having the light in front bouncing off the car, like on the photos you've just seen, or having the light behind the image so that it creates a bit of a shadow and a bit of a glare. If you've done it correctly, it can look really good, but it can look quite, it can make the image look really dark. So it's one of those things where it's a bit risky, but if you could pull it off, it looks quite good. I'm just gonna take a photo now of the car from a different angle using the light in a different way. And you see what I mean by, it gives it more of a shadow, a bit of a glared look, but some people prefer that. Now the last tip I've got for you today, it's quite a well-known rule in, in the photography world where way. I always hope it's somebody peeping because they like what I'm doing not because they've been an idiot anyway what I like to do oh god there's so many people watching me doing this there's somebody else pulling in now wow we'll see how this pans out using your surroundings around you so making this the main part of the image out of the center and using the background as well to make it an even more like fruitful image and more, more involved so I'll show you what I mean by that Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. There's a lot more that can go into photography and how you take your photos to do with like the lighting, uh, the settings on your camera, all sorts, editing afterwards. But I just thought I'd just give you a few little tips that I try to think of when, when I'm taking photos myself. So if you enjoyed this video or you didn't think it was useful anyway, please like and subscribe to the channel and click that little bell button as well so that when I do upload a new video, wow, perfect timing then you can, it can update you every time 
uh, one gets uploaded. A policeman just went past and I was so scared to look at him. <laughs> anyway, they've not pulled over, so. I mean, what am I doing wrong here? I'm not doing nothing wrong here. I'm just a guy with a car with an obnoxiously big wing on the back. I'm not doing anything. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me. And like I always say, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. Shut Hello, you mate. Oh, that's me. You, you, you.